Okay, my name is Mike Wolf. Um, recording this video as a um, demo, I guess, uh, audition kind of sort of thing, as a kind of an introduction to who I am and what I have to say. Um, this is specifically addressed to uh, media interests and uh, intellectuals who uh, can help me uh, get this information to uh, to people, to everybody. Um, anyway, uh, I have discovered the answers to uh, what is wrong with society, what's wrong with humanity, basically. Um, um, it's actually quite simple once you once you realize it, um, but it takes a great deal of uh, time and effort to figure it out on your own. Um, I'd say pretty much my entire lifetime. It also took some very unusual um, circumstances, uh, just a chain of events that put me in the right place at the right time for basically 44 years. Um, um, I've gone through a lot of hell um, to find out what I have. Um, some of the factors involved are the fact that I'm disabled so I don't have to worry about a job. Um, I was a genius, uh, I suffered brain damage, but I do still have my higher functions, mostly. I uh, just can't deal with menial, tedious type stuff, low level stuff, like uh, remembering when to file taxes, or how much I paid for this, or when my appointment was, or the, uh, who someone is, things like that. Uh, um, apparently my brain just kept going on the higher functions, and didn't on the lower stuff, so, uh, but anyway, it's an opportunity. But uh, what I have discovered is that, uh, um, it's within the individual. It's uh, something called moral development. Um, uh, it's described um, in the, pardon my inability to come up with words, that's why I need some help with uh, with this interview. Um, it, it's, God, and I lost track. This is another reason I need help. Um, I have these, these answers, but I can't really get them out very easily because of uh, the brain damage I suffered. Um, I have trouble coming up with words, I have trouble keeping track of my thoughts, and having someone um, someone interview me um, that can keep me on track with these questions, someone that's knowledgeable in, in things like philosophy, economics, politics, um, can help. Um, the answers I, I have answer questions like, why did Larry Holmes, I think it was Larry James Holmes, why did James Holmes shoot up a theater? Um, you know, I have that answer. Um, you know, I also have the answer to would would more gun control or what would what would work to fix that? And the answer is is within the individual. It's it's maturity, uh, developmental maturity, moral maturity, and uh, basically all it is is knowing better. And James Holmes didn't know any better. Um, anybody that commits crimes in this country that isn't afflicted with uh, psychopathy doesn't know any better. And even a psychopath doesn't know any better. Um, they're just a special case in that they're probably incapable of knowing any better. But um, we have a system put in place to take care of our needs, which um, I hate to say it doesn't really work. It's not really compatible with humanity. Um, there is a better way, and the way to do it is a way that not only will everybody be equally happy, but everybody would be equally happy at a better state than anybody is currently. So if we give up the system we have, if we alter the system we have, we can have a uh, we can have a society, a utopian society, or so social utopia I call it. Um, but it's based on everybody learning. Um, as a premise to the to the interview and to, to confirm that I, I do have some some pretty good ideas of what's going on, I encourage uh, you watching this if you're making a decision on whether or not to proceed with an interview, I, I encourage you to read up on Lawrence Kohlberg's uh, description of moral development. It's actually a Wikipedia article that's quite well written about it. Uh, and imagine that society is now at stage two, um, and what that means. Uh, if, you, if you think about it a bit, uh, that's where the key is. The problem isn't just that we're immature, the problem is why, and those are the answers I have, and I'm not going to give specifics until I meet with someone in person. Um, because um, failure to understand where the argument comes from will result in failure to understand the argument at all. Um, and, and I'd be dismissed as a kook, so um, I want to sit down with someone. Um, uh, but how do, you, how do you know I have the answers? Um, well, I've said that moral development is, is the correct, uh, is the problem. Um, 
And if you examine things from that perspective, examine James Holmes and his actions, they're the actions of someone that doesn't know any better. Um, you look at our politics, um, look at the American political scene, you and the media, you know this very well, you've, you've witnessed it, but take a step back and think about our current political scene in reference to how it used to be, and then compare it to a book called Lord of the Flies, and the scenario in there is children trying to rule themselves. And I think you'll find, I think you'll agree that the political landscape in this country can easily be explained by moral maturity. Um, it's like a bunch of kids trying to rule themselves in a playground, and the things that play out are almost verbatim the things that are played out in Lord of the Flies. Um, the, the characters, the scenarios are, are strikingly, eerily similar to what's going on in American politics. And it's, it's quite disturbing. And uh, another, um, another way I know is because I've, I've witnessed it firsthand. I am disabled and I have witnessed um, a lot of very immature things, um, things that have happened directly to me. Um, I've nearly died. Um, I do have a, a, a great story to tell, and um, I've nearly died, and I'm seeking to leave this country because of what's wrong with this country, because I know that I can't deal with it. I am a very mature person, a very intelligent person, who is misjudged both morally and, and um, uh, intellectually by the society. I am I'm intellectual, and I'm mature, and... You think about children don't like authority figures, and they especially don't like someone smarter than them. Um, I was picked on as a kid because I was smarter than everyone else, and I'm picked on as an adult for the same reason. Um, especially because I'm I'm more intelligent, but I also have these these limitations because of my brain damage. Um, so I know firsthand, um, and here's the real aspect of the story that uh, I think makes it worth reporting. Um, I'm seeking to escape, but I'm seeking to escape on my own. I am going to acquire, through either trade or, or sail, um, a sailboat. Um, and I'm going to sail uh, up and around Alaska along the, um, well, <laughs> along the Russian coast. Let me see, from your perspective, that would be up and along around the Aleutians, or through the Aleutians, and then up along the Russian coast, and down and around into Sweden. Uh, and that's going to be my my home and I'm taking a boat because I'm not confident that Sweden, Sweden will accept me on my uh, bid for international protection um, because I, I, I'm I leaving this country because it's not safe for me here. I've almost died um, and I have to survive. I have to go through great effort every day just to survive. Um, I never learned how to be social um, because I was put aside uh, in the classroom as a kid when uh, my uh, second, third, fourth, fifth grade teacher saw that I was more intelligent than, than everyone else, more capable, faster, more ahead of the game, ahead of the class, so they put me off on my own and outside in the playground they did the same thing, only not in a positive way, you know, everything balances out and the kids balanced it out. Um, I developed intellectually but I did not develop socially. Um, but uh, another aspect of it is that I represent, in, in many ways, what, uh, what human potential is. I'm not, I don't have a f physically better body. My body is not different. My brain is not physically different than yours, than anybody else's. I just developed. Um, I think it was because my gifts were fostered by my teachers and I was not having to concentrate on social development that I developed intellectually. Um, yes, I'm not perfect. Uh, I would very much like to have those social skills, but I think that overdeveloping my mental skills allowed me to find these answers, um, especially because I was socially isolated. Pardon my itching, I have a histamine reaction to the uh, uh, mosquitoes that are currently biting me. Um, but anyway, as you can see, I'm out in the woods. Uh, that's where I feel safest. I'm not comfortable around people anymore. So these interviews are going to be are going to be difficult for me. I'm going to need help. I, I have to have an escort at all times. Um, um, I'm also going to have um, some specific needs as far as uh, accommodations and whatnot. I'm not sure what those are yet. I don't know what I can handle. I haven't been in in this kind of situation before. I haven't been out socially um, in public in a long time. Pardon me. I'm trying to. I'm a perfectionist. I'm trying to get centered on the lens. But um, 
anyway, I think I would make a good interview subject. Um, I think I have a lot of a lot to tell, and I really want to tell my story. Uh, I don't want to have to wait until I've landed in Sweden and applied for protection to tell my story, but I will um, if that's what it takes to get your attention. But uh, I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that I can find someone out there that's willing to spend the time and effort and interview me and, and tease out that I do have these answers that I can help. Um, I unfortunately don't know that I can take a direct leadership role. I'm not asking to 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 take any kind of leadership role in this. I just want to advise and help people understand what's wrong and help people see that uh, the revolution as it as it is, I guess you could say, is an internal one. It's it's we don't have to change anything outside of ourselves. We just have to change ourselves. And I think it's a positive message. I um, I've been yeah, I mean if you see my other videos on my on my video diary, I've been very angry, resentful. Um, but that's that's due to stress. I'm very positive about this. I'm very hopeful. Um, I'm very eager because I also see other things like the fact that uh, we are actually being affected by global warming in ways that uh, science doesn't recognize, uh, at least not formally and, uh, and not in consensus. And that is number one, the amount of CO2 in the atmosphere is actually now toxic. It's toxic to higher brain functions. Do some research, you'll find that uh, OSHA um, says that uh, 1,000 ppm of CO2 long-term exposure, four hours, I would say, is their definition of long-term, causes um, cognitive issues such as difficulty with concentration and difficulty with higher function. Um, I'm all very, I'm very keen on this because of my brain damage. Um, so I'm, I'm afraid that people won't get to the knowledge that global warming is killing us um, in time. And I do, I do have solutions. I do know how to repair the global warming issue and in such a way that uh, doesn't adversely impact anyone, um, at least as far as their needs and uh, their potential as humans. Yes, it's going to be quote-unquote painful because you're not going to get to go do unreasonable things, un unreasonable, unsustainable things like waste fuel driving a vehicle for pleasure or, or showing off or things like that. It's just it's not a very intelligent use of resources. And we can get there and I can explain how how to make it easy. Um, and uh, we can even fix the economic system in this country very easily. I can, I can advise President Obama, for example, on how to, how to be the leader that we need, how to direct um, our efforts um, through leadership into fixing the economy through the ways that I'll, I'll discuss in person because I don't, I don't want to do this on the demo because you'll dismiss me for lack of understanding. I have to explain the whys, the hows behind things. So I'm, I'm hoping that uh, this is enough to, uh, to entice you to at least contact me and discuss this with me. And, and please bear in mind, I do have significant cognitive uh, um, issues, emotional issues as well. Um, I suffer from a variety of, uh, of afflictions, PTSD, generalized anxiety disorder. Uh, I've had depression essentially all of my life, ADD, uh, bipolar disorder, you name it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a walking DSM. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, I do have the answers. I do have the solutions, and I'd like to, I'd like to have a chance to tell them to somebody. And even if you don't publish the interview immediately, you know, you don't, you don't have to. There's no obligation. I'm not asking for money. I don't want money. Um, I, I just can't afford to drive to New York or anything like that, uh, or L.A. And so I would ask that you uh, contact me and send a person to interview me or, or, or something or discuss it with me. Um, phone is hard for me. Email is easier, but I know you want to have something discussion, so maybe we could do a, a video or, or I just hopefully find someone in, that's willing to fly to me. Um, um, I have a dog and I'm living in my motorhome, so that makes things difficult, but also easy in a way. I just can't travel far, but anyway, I'm blabbing now, so uh, please, please do try and contact me. and. Uh, um, Please help me uh, get these answers out to the people. We, we all need this. This will help everybody. Thank you.